Hi everyone, welcome back. This video is a continuation of the corset um, dress tutorial from my previous video. I stopped at where I was aiming the neckline of my corset with my lining and I'll be starting from that point here. So make sure you watch the previous video so you can understand the continuation of the tutorial. After sewing, I'll go ahead and flip my lining inside my cup like I am showing you guys and I'll do the same thing for the other side and now you notice that our neckline is looking professionally done now the neckline is neat if i turn this this way can you see the neckline is now neat so to knitting the rough part of the cup the bottom part right there i will go ahead and cut a fabric that is one and a half inches wide like that then i'll place it at the back pay attention to what i'm doing here okay I'll place it at the back and sew it half of an inch or you can follow this line that we have the half of an inch we use to join our cup to the mesh you can follow that and you keep sewing all the way make sure you hold your lining together okay all the way around like that all right then at the tip you go up by half of an inch before cutting it out because you use that to aim the fabric you do the same thing for the other side place it at the back like that and you sew half of an inch all the way around like i am showing you so this is what you have after sewing like that you see what we have right there so now i'll go ahead and trim this part the thick part right there i'll trim that down all right so you go ahead and trim the thick part then you go ahead and fold the bias the way i'm folding right here so you fold it here then you fold it again right there you continue to fold it like i'm doing and you see the effect that we have now this is to create a neat finishing between the cup and the mesh do you see that right there and if you check the other side you see that we still have the rough edges showing at the other side so this part is neat so you continue folding like i show you um, on the inner part so you continue folding the bias like this all the way around the bottom part of the cup then you go ahead and do the same thing for the other side of the cup and after folding you'll be tacking this bias to the black lining in the inner part of your cup okay i actually use glue to glue mine to the lining so for my back pattern this is the center of the back this is the side that's the top and that's the waist so from the center back i'll go in by one and a half inches like that from the center back and i'll do the same thing on the other side and i'll place my bias tape right there and sew it down can you see that so i'll do the same thing for the side but for the side part i will go in by two and a half inches okay and on the other side i'll go in by two and a half inches and i'll place my bias and top stitch like that so you do the same thing for the other side now i'll place my lining on top and that's to turn the rough edges you sew with half of an inch at the top half of an inch on the side and half of an inch on the center back don't sew the waist okay you do the same thing for the other side top side and center back so this is what you have you see there's opening at the waist area so now i'll go ahead and trim my half of an inch allowance down to like three quarter of an inch all the way around um, this pattern i'll do the same thing for the other side then i'll go ahead and turn my pattern to the right side like i'm doing here you repeat the same thing for the other side and this is what we have okay at the center back i'll rip the stitch between my fabric and lining at the center back like that and that is to put my loop in between so for the loop you cut a fabric that is one and a half inches wide and you fold both ends with quarter of an inch and fold it again like this and you top stitch the opening to close it like that so then you go ahead and cut it into two two inches long they are two two inches long now you fold it again like i did here and place it in between the fabric and lining like that you see that and bam we have our loop then you measure one and a half inch down from the first loop and place the other loop like that and you also do the same thing for the next loop and you continue doing this all the way to your last loop make sure you have half of an inch at the bottom because we'll be joining this to our skirt pattern okay at the waist i'll go ahead and top stitch on top of that and i'll repeat the same thing for the other side so now i'll be adding my resilient boning into the boning channel that i have on my corset i'll add a tape to the tip of the boning and this is to prevent it from piercing my fabric then i'll go ahead and insert my boning you see i'm going the curve way is facing up 
So make sure the curved side of your boning is facing up, then you insert it into the boning channel. And now you see me filling at the top of my corset. I want it to stop half inch below it gets all the way to the top, okay? So half inch right there, then you cut the boning at the down part once it's like half inch before you reach the entire corset. So now then I'll push it up through that half inch. And what I'm trying to do is have half of an inch at the bottom part for me to be able to join this corset to my skirt i don't want the boning extending into my half of an inch allowance at the bottom i hope that makes sense so you push it through and you have half of an inch at the bottom it's a little bit hard to push through but it's doable so now i have half of an inch at the bottom i'll go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the channel add a tape and place um the boning through the channel you put it into the channel and make sure you have half of an inch at the top before you push it through all the way so right there i'll fill and make sure i have half of an inch like that then if i have half of an inch i'll go ahead and cut it out and i'll go ahead and start pushing it all the way up so i can have my half of an inch at the bottom at this point in the video i'm in a rush because my client will be picking this dress up in two hours but i'm still recording this tutorial so that you guys can learn from it so please make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends now for my skirt pattern my lining is one inch shorter at the bottom and also for both front and back pattern it's one inch shorter at the bottom so i'll take out my lining right here and open up my skirt pattern now i want to sew my dart i already notched where my dart will be so you fold your fabric this way and sew with half of an inch all the way from the waist to around eight inches if you've been watching my video for a while you should know how to sew your dart by now so after sewing my dart, I'll fold my fabric back into two and at the center right here, I'll go down by one inch and this is to um, eliminate having folds in front of my pattern. So from the side seam, I'll kind of connect a curve to that one inch, okay, and I'll cut that out. So that will help you eliminate having folds in front of your skirt. So after cutting this out, then I'll go ahead and open up my pattern right now and this is what i have so i'll place the corset um, part of my dress to my skirt now so you place it right side facing each other like this and on the side of my skirt i go in by half of an inch you see on the hip side and that's because i already hemmed my corset and i have not hemmed my skirt so i need that half of an inch so starting from that half of an inch you place your corset like that and sew all the way around like i'm showing you to the other half of an inch you see it stop exactly there so you'll be sewing from that point to the other point do the same thing for the back so you get the upper part of your back for the dress and you place it right side facing each other and mark half of an inch from the side which is from the hip side like that and you place the side of your upper part to that side all the way like that and you do the same thing for the other part half of an inch and you match the side starting from that half of an inch like that okay so now you sew with half of an inch at the waist so after joining this is what i have Whew, that is beautiful so flip it this way like this and place your lining right side facing it you see so the left side of your lining will be facing up then match it at the waist like that and you go ahead and sew this with half of an inch you can follow the line that we already did earlier and so then you sew the bottom part together with half of an inch and the sides with half of an inch so top bottom and side you do the same thing for the other side you flip like this you place your lining right side and the left will be facing up you sew with half of an inch at the top half of an inch at the bottom and half of an inch on both sides okay and you do the same thing for the other part so i left a little bit of opening at the side as you can see that's where i'm putting my hand through and that is for me to be able to flip my fabric out okay i'll be pushing my fabric out of that opening so make sure the opening is a little big because of the boning so now you see that my side seam is matching perfectly and this is the other side right there i'll flip that out and you also see that everything looks neat so i'll also do the same thing for the front pattern i'll flip it out nicely and 
you see the way I'm doing it. Do it gently because of the corset and the net, okay? And it will be a little bit hard because we have boning in it. So just take your time and pull it gently. So this is what we have after turning it out. That part that I opened right there to bring out my fabric, I'll go ahead and put it together like this. You fold it back in and top stitch on top. And you do the same thing for the back pattern. And you see that our waist is also neat. So now we'll be joining our pieces together, right side facing each other. So I'm placing the back on top of the front and make sure to match the side together. Make sure the line on the waist also matches like I'm doing right there and all the way to the hem at the bottom. Don't forget to close that opening at the sides, okay? Then you sew with your allowance all the way and you do the same thing for the other side and sew with your allowance. My allowance will be one inch, okay? So I'll sew one inch on both sides. So now for this side, that's where our zipper goes, okay? So I'll go ahead and measure from the waist to where I want my zipper to stop and sew down with one inch. Now, after sewing the side together and inserting my zipper, this is what I have. So if you want a modesty panel, you go ahead and cut a square fabric like this. And what that will do is cover the back like this. My client later said she doesn't want that, so I took it out. So what you do if you want one is flip this fabric to the other side like this and you unstitch it to the lining, just to the lining like that. Then you turn it all the way to the other side and you have your modesty panel. So now I am trying to add the structure to the shoulder after fitting the dress of my client and it is beautiful. She loves it. For the structure, you get your boning and place it from the front going to the back and see how high you want it. Then you cut it out. Now you go ahead and insert that into your um, boning channel. I'm using a different kind of boning here. It's the plastic one and that's because this one is other than the regular boning that I use for the corset. The regular boning keeps falling to the side. That's why I use this one. So I'll go ahead and place this um, at the front. You see me adding um, a glue to that. I'm using my glue gun to add the glue to it. Then I'll place it inside the cup. You see the way I'm doing it like that and hold it for 10 to 20 seconds. So make sure you don't burn your client because that glue is really hot. And after doing it for the front, you go ahead and do the same thing for the back. So you, I'll add my glue to the back side of the structure and insert it into the back um, bodies at the top right there like i'm doing like i said don't burn your client <laughs> so i'll hold it for 30 seconds and that's all for the dress so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something important from it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends it's important to the growth of this channel see you in my next tutorial bye